Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey here, and I am so excited to be recording this Let's Build series for you. If you've been following, I had some laptop trouble, but I finally got my laptop back, my brand new Lenovo IdeaPad Y700, 17 inch, love this laptop. I also have my new microphone, which is the Blue Yeti microphone, and I've got my pop filter installed, and hopefully everything should just run smoothly from here on out. So anyways, let's get into it. This Let's Build, um, I don't really have an exact idea of what I'm doing yet, so I'm going to start off with creating a household. This is always a good idea if you're not sure exactly what type of build you want to do or you want to get the creative juices flowing. I try to make a household first. That way I know exactly who the house is going to be for, what type of attributes and characteristics they have, what type of hobbies they'll like. And that just really helps me put a nice house together. Now, once I'm done building this, of course, I will have the download links in the description so that you can download the family and the home. And um, those will be available through the Sims 3 store via the exchange. So hopefully you like this and want to download it. This is a let's build instead of a speed build, which means it is slower. Obviously, it is in real time. So it's going to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to split this up into a few different episodes in one. Um, so it's going to be, you know, let's build part one, let's build part two, etc., etc. Hopefully it won't be too, too long, but we'll see how it ends up. So here I am building my first sim in Create a Sim. I'm going to go ahead and randomly generate a name, and I'll keep going until I find one that sounds good. Um, I can't even say that last name. Trinity Redding? That's that's cute, but let's keep going. Nikki Hinton, Anna Shia, Aurora Yeager. I, I you know I like the name Aurora. I'm gonna copy that so I don't forget it, but I'm gonna keep generating till we find a good last name. Lamb Lamb is cute. Aurora Lamb. Why not? Aurora Lamb. There we go. So um she is going to be a human and let's go ahead and randomly well, not randomly. We're going to go ahead and change her attributes here to make her look exactly how I want. So the skin tone looks fine. The body weight looks fine. I'm going to adjust the muscles down just a little bit. Um, the definition up a little bit. And we'll leave the breast eyes as is. Now, let's see what's next. Um, Aurora's hair. The hair is always the hardest part for me because I can never find one that I absolutely love or I find too many and it's just hard to decide. Now this ponytail's cute, but I don't know, you can't really see much hair from the front, so let's see if we could have a better style here. I uh, try to avoid the Into the Future ones just because they're a little bit out there. And, hmm, that's pretty cute. Let's change the color though. Let's go. Meh. Actually, yeah, I like that blonde. So we'll just leave that. Alright, let's see what kind of cute hairstyles we can get going. Braids are cute. How actually how old is she? I'm not sure. Was she just a young adult? Yeah, young adult. Alright. Let's go back to the hair then. Want to make sure the hair is appropriate. Not that. <laughs> um, oh, I was already there. Okay. That's pretty cute. Um, nope, no into the future ones right now. That's cute too, but I don't know if she needs bangs. We could go short. I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to build a family, so we'll have we'll have her as the mom, and we'll build a dad and some children, since I love building family homes. But yeah, this I think this shortcut is pretty cute, actually. I do like the bangs because they're more of a side swept and in her eye, so they don't look too childish. And yeah, we'll go with that hair. Um, the eyebrows, we can't really see under the hair. Let's make the eyelashes a little longer. And on to looks. So her face, let's see. Let's uh let's go into advanced and see if we could bring the height a little bit. Wait, which way? Ooh, not that. That's not what I want. The width maybe? No. Um 
Actually, I want her chin to be a little longer. So let's go back into basic and see if we can find a good face shape. That one looks pretty good. Okay, I think we'll go with that one. Let's go back into advanced. Let's see what the profile looks like. Pretty good. The width is good and the height is good. All right, so next we'll go to the eyes. She already has some beautiful blue eyes. Um, let's see if we could change the shape up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. It definitely widens them up a bit. Actually, that one's pretty cute too. Maybe we'll go with this one and widen them up a, a tiny bit. So, uh, scale, is that what I want? Yeah, scale. Make them a little bigger. I think the height's good. Um, the socket height, uh, that's good there. All right, onto the nose. Let's find her a different nose. Hmm, I kind of like that one. Just small and cute. Uh, let's move on to the lips. I definitely want something a little bit fuller. Wow, that looks cool. That's cute too. Uh, these are a little too big for her face size. Might be a little too pouty. That's pretty. Ooh, tough call. Let's go with this one and see if we can widen it a little bit. I think that'll be good. All right, on to topical details. Um, does she want freckles? Nah, no freckles, no beauty marks. All right, on to the makeup, the fun part. So <clears throat> we're going to start off with the eyeshadow. Um, let's see, some of these are a bit wild. That's way too much. <laughs> That's just the top. Um, the top and the bottom. Oh, it looks like it's also just the top. Hmm. I'm torn between this one and this one. Or was it this one? Okay, between this one and this one. Let's go with the less because less is more. And we're gonna change this up to more of a brown instead of the purple. On to the eyeliner. Um, just something basic. I don't want it to look futuristic. <laughs> um, that's pretty cute. Should we go with a different color? What is blue? Blue on blue, black. Hmm. All right, we'll stick with the black. And what's next? Blush. No, what is this? Blush. Yeah. Let's see what the peachy one looks like. Now a bit more pink. Uh, we'll go with the uh, peachy. And on to lipstick. Let's see, we have, what is that, more glossy maybe? Hmm. I think I like this one and what kind of colors do we have? Wow, the red's pretty stunning on her. I really like the red. We're gonna go with the red for Aurora. Tattoos, I don't think we need. Oh, did I miss something? Oh no, that was face makeup. All right, so I think she's looking pretty cute. Let's move on to clothing. And we'll start off with her everyday outfit, which she has on sort of the sporty tracksuit. Um, definitely don't want that for everyday. So let's go ahead and build her a cute little outfit. Again, we want her to look like a mom, but she's a hip, fun mom, so we don't want her to look um, like she doesn't have a, a style or a sense of fashion. So we'll definitely give her something that's cute and classy. Um, let's see what we have here. <laughs> some of these, some of these are crazy. 
I wish that was longer because that would be really cute, but I don't want her belly exposed like that. You can go with just typical mom jacket. Uh, got some t-shirts down here. Tank top. <laughs> Katy Perry. All the Katy Perry stuff. <laughs> Let's just go with that with the giant candies on her boobs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, this is pretty cute, I think. I think the blue looks good with her hair color. It has the necklace, so it's a little bit more fancy than casual, even though it's a tank top. I think I like it. Now let's move on to the pants. Let's see, do we want to put her in khakis or jeans? Uh, definitely not those. The cuff on the bottom looks a little funny. Um, don't think we want... No, those are way too sporty. Those aren't bad, but don't really like the cuffing on the bottom. They're a little too short. That's not bad either. Hmm. Probably we'll go with these. Let's see what else we have real quick, though. Not the torn jeans. Um, maybe some... Uh, I'm not sure if I like those rivets, grommets. I don't know what those are. <laughs> I don't know if I like those on the side too much. I'm just going to go back up here and just grab those classic blue pants. I think those look pretty good. The color matches pretty well. I don't even think I need to change those. But definitely got to get her out of the sneakers and into some more um, sh casual shoes. Not casual. Yeah, every day. Something that's comfy because, you know, when you're walking around every day, you don't necessarily want, like, giant heels or giant boots. Oh, we got to get rid of those socks. How do we get rid of those? That is step one, get rid of the socks. Because <laughs> she's not going to do socks with sandals. I mean, she can, but, yeah. I think socks are in the accessories. There they are. So, um, on, off. All right, back to bare feet, right? Yeah. Is that her bare feet? Looks a little darker. Yeah. yeah, I think that's her bare feet. Alright, so let's see. Do we like these sandals? Or do we want something else? What about these? Mm, not quite... Not quite what I'm thinking. You know, let's go back to those sandals. They were comfy looking and, oh, those are cuter. The white ones match better, I think. A little wedge on them. All right, so there is Aurora. I'm not going to worry too much about her other looks. I'm just going to go through them quickly. Just make sure there isn't anything completely out of the ordinary. And we'll move on to our next character. Wow, okay, see, that's what I mean. This is not formal wear <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's put her in just a simple dress. What type of dress would you wear? What's this? Oh, that's cute. Little peasant dress. That's cute, too. Might be a little bit too youthful. Could always go with the pantsuit. Oh, that's so cute, but I mean, that's outerwear. It's not really formal wear. Um, hmm. I don't know what I think about that one. You know what? I think that's the winner. She looks good in blue. I mean, blue is definitely her color. Uh, can we change the necklace? I'm not sure. It looks a little bit too skin toned. Let's make it red. Is that too much? That might be a little bit much. How about pink? No. There we go. Just some uh, silver with a little hint of purple. I think that looks pretty good. And definitely need some new shoes because those just do not match this outfit. Since this is formal wear, let's find some heels. 
something a little bit more fancy. It's definitely uh, a very classy dress, a very classy line around the neck and shoulders. I think these are cute, but let's just change the color. I want to see if I can match them to the necklace. So let's go ahead in here and copy the hex color. Um, hopefully it lets me paste it. And then let's go back to the shoes. And let's see if that did it. Yep, there we go. It's that purpley silver color. And the back of the heel. Yeah, I think that's cute. All right, let's see what we've got going on with sleepwear. Hopefully it's something I could just leave as is. Um, good enough, why not? <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually gonna play this family, so if you decide to download the home with the family, you can go ahead and customize these a bit more. Her athletic is fine swimwear oh i'm just gonna change that really quick uh there we go and outerwear hopefully is fine good enough all right so now miss aurora let's put you back into your everyday clothing and we're going to move on to your personality and traits all right so let's randomly generate some traits here and see what we come up with adventurous computer whiz, loner, mean-spirited, and a supernatural fan. All right, I'm going to change these up just a bit because she is um, going to be a, a friendly mom, so we don't want her, her to be a loner. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. We don't want her to be mean-spirited either. She looks like she's very friendly and outgoing and sweet. So let's get her, rid of mean-spirited. So we're left with computer whiz, adventurous, and supernatural fan. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and add some social traits. Um, let's see. Friendly. She definitely looks friendly. <laughs> there she is waving. And we need one more. Um, social butterfly. Physical, mental, adventurous. Let's see what we could do for mental. Or lifestyle. Maybe lifestyle family oriented. There we go. So she's a computer whiz, adventurous, a supernatural fan, friendly, and she loves her family. Perfect. Now her lifetime wish, seasoned traveler, surrounded by family, great explorer, more than a machine, private museum. I know there's more options, but let's go with surrounded by family. And on to personality, she likes autumn salad, pop music, and the color yellow works for me. Astrological sign, Leo, sounds good. All right. So, Miss Aurora Lamb, let's give you a husband. Now, we got to make sure to give him the last name, but we'll do some random names here to find the first name. Uh, Damien Russ. Russ and Aurora. I think that sounds good. Russ Lamb. And let's see. His body weight. Let's just slim it down a tiny bit. Um, let's adjust that muscle size a bit. And the definition a bit. All right. Now, Russ, let's see what we've got going on for your hair. Uh, it's not too bad. Although those eyebrows. <laughs> let's change those eyebrows first because they're a bit much for your face. Um, you know, I never really like the men's eyebrow selection to begin with. Uh, that works. That works. All right. Um, should we change the hair color? Black or maybe more of a reddish brown? I think I like this one. And let's match the eyebrows to the hair root. All right, those eyebrows are still a bit bushy, but you know what? That's all right. That's fine. I think we'll leave the hair. I don't know. I don't. I don't hate it. Um, does he need facial hair? No. Mm, no. I don't know. 
the guys the guys hair options are <laughs> not not what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> hmm, what about a little stubble? It won't go away now. <laughs> we might be stuck with it. Alright, that works. His eyes are very pretty. They're like a jade green. I'm definitely going to leave those. Um, should we give him some body hair? Whoa, I think we should tone down the muscle a bit because that's a bit much for... Oh, can't see it now. Um, yeah, we'll just tone that down a bit. Alright, that... Where were we? Hair? Body hair. Alright, does he need body hair? <laughs> oh, these options. I think that one's good. There we go. Give him a little body here. And on to the looks. Um, I think he's actually pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to change anything. Hmm. Change the nose a little bit. Thin it out just a tiny bit. All right, what do we have for the mouth? The mouth looks pretty good. Um, tattoos, makeup. Does he want a tattoo? Nah. All right, let's move on to the everyday clothing. And I can't remember what he was just wearing, but I'm sure it was fine. Yeah, this is good. I'm happy with this. Um, just rotate him. What's going on here, buddy? You don't want to rotate? There we go. Alright, just skim through these. Make sure they look okay. Formal. Let's see what pops up. <laughs> he looks like a car salesman. Um, <laughs> we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that. Nice yellow blazer there. <laughs> Um, sleepwear is fine. Athletic. Oops, I skipped, uh, what did I skip? Okay, swimwear is good. Let's go back to athletic. Um, hopefully this one's okay too. Is it the same? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that looks good. And finally, outerwear. Don't want to spend too much time creating the family. I definitely want to get onto the house build, so this is fine. Um, do we want some kids? Oh, wait. Let's go back to... I almost forgot his personality. All right. So, Russ is going to be a coward. No. Eccentric, grumpy, a hydrophobic, and unflirty. Those are horrible. Let's try again. <laughs> Eccentric, frugal, insane, insane in the membrane. <laughs> Uh, oops, where did I click on? Um, no sense of humor and shy. Frugal, eccentric, shy. How can he be shy and insane? And no sense of humor. Let's get rid of shy. If he's going to be eccentric and insane, he needs to also be, um, can you be charismatic too? Does that make sense? <laughs> um, Party animal. Can you be a party animal? Proper, shy, snob, social butterfly, socially. I think socially awkward is better than shy. Let's go with socially awkward. No sense of humor. If he's eccentric and insane, I feel like he's got to be funny too, right? I mean, that's definitely not boring. <laughs> um, frugal, eccentric, insane, socially awkward, and couch potato couch potato. Alrighty. Does he want to be a gold digger, a monster maker, a paranormal profiteer? What even is that? Ghost hunting. Okay. Master of mysticism or a perfect student. Let's go with paranormal profiteer because I believe Aurora was a supernatural fan. So maybe, maybe they'll have their own little ghost hunting business. That'd be great. Uh, he likes hamburgers, electronica, and lilac. Lilac surprises me, but we'll leave that and he's a cancer. All right, Russ, um, let, let's give you guys some kids. So what do we have here? I can't remember what it automatically starts their age at. 
And we're going to need names. Oh, teen? Wait, it starts at young adult. Yeah, that's right. So let's do a teen first. And does she even look like a teen? I don't know. Let's randomize her. All right. She looks like a teen. Um, I think we're going to change her nose. Oh, we need a name. Okay, hold on. Shanita, Christina, Kiana, Lucia, Clara, Carrie. Carrie Lamb. I like that. All right, Carrie, um, I'm going to leave your body tone as is. Well, let's put the muscle down a tiny bit. And let's go into, well, I like the hair. I think I'm going to leave the hair. But maybe I will change the eyebrows a bit. She's got her dad's hair color, which is good. And I'm not hating her outfit either, so we might we might leave pretty much as is. Just change a few small things. Those eyebrows are a bit much for her. Let's go with these. Um, now let's go into her looks and let's change let's change her eyes. Let's go with these smaller ones, and I want to change her nose. That works. And her mouth. Hmm. Gosh, some of these. Some of these aren't that great. Let's maybe go with this one and change it. Let's make it a little bit wider. Let's change the height down a tiny bit. And let's make it a bit deeper. Oh, we have some more options down here. Um, let's rotate the corners upwards make her look a little bit more like she's smiling all right and topical details makeup we can give her some makeup she's a teenager she's allowed to have makeup so let's find a cute eyeshadow why are these so crazy oh my gosh oh no um Huh. Let's go with this, but we need to tone this down a lot. That's way too much. Maybe this sort of light pink is good. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, eyeliner. Let's go with something fun. That's kind of cute, but what did it do to the eyeshadow? There we go. Just a cute little wing tip on the end. Um, let's change the color though. Let's make her eyeliner more of a deep purple. No, maybe deeper. There we go. And blush. That might be a little bit much. No blush. And lipstick. Let's just give her a very light color on the lips. I think that works for me. We don't need any full face costume makeup. All right, on to the clothing. I, again, I don't mind her everyday outfit. I'm just going to change these shoes because they don't really match. Let's see if we could just put her in some cute sneakers or maybe these flats right here. Yeah, those are good. And again, we're going to take a quick look at the clothing. Don't want to spend too much time on this, so let's just make sure it is good enough that's actually really cute but again the shoes do not match um let's go with maybe those pretty cute and stylish and they match well enough <laughs> sleepwear oh that's cute i love her slippers all right athletic is it the same as sleepwear Gotta change that up. Um, hmm. Let's go with this top. We'll find some fun shorts. 
Maybe those? We'll change the colors. Um, and then definitely some tennis shoes. Uh, let's go with the Converse. All right, so I want to change this so that it matches the top a little better. Actually, I should click on the top first, and let's go ahead and copy this yellow first. And we're going to make the rim of the shorts this yellow color. And I think I'll leave the middle part brown, um, but let's move the same brown onto the shoes just so it matches a little bit better. Cute. All right, Carrie, let's see what they put you in swimwear. Oh, no, you're a teenager. You need a cute bikini or something, or maybe a one piece. What do we have? No, let's put her in a bikini. Carrie, you seem pretty fun. Um, you seem like you're probably a little bit athletic. So let's just give you a nice matching bikini here and move on real quick to the outerwear. And that's cute. We'll leave the outerwear too. Actually, that wow, that blue color looks really good with her hair. It's a very cute color on her. And onto the personality. Okay, so, so far they have her as easily impressed, family oriented, a genius, and neat. I think we'll leave those. Um, her favorites are Autumn Salad, just like her mom, a Classical, and Aqua. Okay, I like the Aqua. It looks good on her. That not surprised that's her favorite color. And Carrie is a Taurus, so Carrie's good. Now, what else do we want? I think we want at least one more kid, maybe two. But let's give Carrie a little brother, someone that she could play with so she's not lonely. Maybe they play baseball together or... Ooh, she's cute, though. Maybe we could give her a sister and a brother. Let's see what she looks like as a teen. You know what? I like her. Let's give her uh, a sister, and then we'll go ahead and add a little brother as well. So let's randomly generate her name, Candace. Candace and Carrie? Candace and Carrie. Lamb. And, gosh, she's really cute. I like her. I don't want to change too much. I love the hair. Maybe we'll change the color just a little bit more reddish so that she matches. I mean, the mom has blonde hair, but, you know, Aurora probably bleaches her hair, I would imagine. So let's give um, Candace this just more reddish brown like the rest of her family. Oh, she is so cute. I love her. I'm not going to change anything. <laughs> let's just change the clothes. Um... The jeans are really cute. The top's a little weird. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I think we could do better. Definitely we could do a better top. Now, um, Carrie, Carrie was a little bit more sporty, so let's make Candace a bit more girly. Hmm. That's, that's okay. Freezer bunny. That's pretty cute too. You know what? I want to change your hair back to the black. I don't care that it doesn't match the rest of the family. <laughs> I think she looked really good with the black hair. There we go. That's more fitting. And I do like this top. And it goes good with the jeans. I mean, I don't know. Cute top, torn jeans. Why not? But let's just change the shoes. So let me go back into clothing. Actually, the shoes aren't bad. I'm just not crazy about the color. So let's just change her shoe color. I think they're relatively close to the top. So yeah, let's see what the presets are. Okay, that matches better. You know, no, I'm not loving the jeans. Let's change the jeans. I think more of a skinny jean would be better with this outfit. Because the top is sort of like a tunic, like almost like a short dress. You could do a skirt. Skirt or skinny jeans. Where are the skinny jeans? Not those. Um, maybe those are a little baggy. Or it's the knee. The knee's like baggy. Aren't there any just like plain, plain skinny jeans? They still look a little baggy. Maybe 
you know, I think those are good. The color is not quite right though, so. We could stick with purple. I think she looks really good in purple with the black hair. It looks great. So what do they have for formal wear? Really? Huh. Did they just pick that top? Because I have the top. I don't know how they decide what, <laughs> what to put them in. But she needs a flirty little dress. That's cute. Oh, man. She looks good in red, too. All right. Let's find Candace some shoes to match this beautiful little dress. It's cute and short and flirty. I love it. Um, but I'm not sure what shoes to put with it. We could go flat route. Are we going to leave her as a teen? Yeah, I guess she is a teen. Um, we could do some sandals. Or those, the strappy wedges are cute. I think that's great. So they're going to be pretty close in age, Candace and Carrie. Um, let's see what she has for sleepwear. Nope, honey, you're not sleeping in that. <laughs> No way, Jose. Um, let's find you something a little bit more appropriate, like a cute little doggy. <laughs> That's much better. I don't want my teen running around in that other outfit. But there we go. That's adorable. Does she have a tail on the back? Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, and the ears. Look at the ears on the hood. Oh, I love it. All right, Candace, you are looking very adorable. Uh, okay, let's move on to athletic. Good enough, except those shoes. <laughs> what are those, moon boots or something? <laughs> she looks like she's got Frankenstein boots on. I don't know. Um, I like the color, but I don't know. <laughs> They're a bit much. Um, let's just go with Converse. But actually, let's steal this color because I do like the color. So we'll go into our hex, copy it, and we'll give her some converse wherever those just went. Here we go. And we're going to make the converse um, that pretty turquoise color. Ta-da! All right. Swimwear. Please don't give her anything. Oh, that's not, it's not inappropriate, but it's kind of not really swimwear. But she's not getting mermaid shells. So I don't even know why I clicked on that. <laughs> that's cute. The hearts, um, the hearts and the shorts. Yeah, that's good. All right, and outerwear. What on earth? These outfits, my gosh. Oh, boy. Good enough, good enough. Um, good enough. All right. All right, Miss Candace, let's get your personality, and then we'll make your little brother, and then we'll move on to building the home. So Candace is grumpy, a natural cook, a savvy sculptor, and a virtuoso. I don't want her to be grumpy, though, so let's get rid of grumpy. The rest are fine. Um, let's make her an animal lover. Oh, look at that. And she likes hamburger like her dad, pop, and aqua. Isn't her sister's favorite color aqua? Let's make hers pink. Um, and she is a Leo. All right. Finally, on to the little brother. And let's see. What color hair is he going to have? Because we have the reddish brown and the black going on. And we're definitely saying mom bleaches her hair, so... Oh, look, they randomly generated her again. She could be a twin. Now let's do the brother. So let's make him a child. And, well, we want him to be a him. There we go. All right. We need a name. Wayne, Raymond, Liam, Ken, Raheem, Russell. You know, I like Ken. Ken, Lamb. So we have Carrie, Candace, and Ken. Um, he looks good. I don't think I'm going to change anything because I want to move on to the house build. She, uh, let's give him the reddish brown hair though. Darken it up a tiny bit. There we go. And we're just going to say that, um, 
mom has naturally black hair. That's where Candace got her for, hair from, and then mom bleaches her hair. So, so it makes sense. Um, we'll leave his looks as is. We'll probably leave his clothes as, as is, but let's just make sure nothing crazy here. Sleep? What? <laughs> is he in a toga? Is he sleeping in a toga? <laughs> He sleeps in a toga, formal shoes, and big baggy jeans. I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. You're going to sleep in a shark shirt um, with some, not really, cargo pants. Oh, this is formal. That's why. That still wasn't formal, though. Oops. Okay. Formal. Um... Oh boy. I was going to say, those aren't sleep pants, but that's why. How about a little sweater vest? There you go. Well, it's not a vest, it's just a sweater. And the shoes are fine, but I want a different color, so let's make these um, just darker. Let's go with dark blue, maybe. Like that. And let's make these darker brown. All right. And that's good for formal. Okay, now sleepwear. Hopefully he's not in that toga again. Okay, we don't want those leggings, though, so let's find some shorts. And athletic it is the same as sleepwear. I swear, they're just getting lazy. All right, let's give him a surfer board shirt, um, some actual pants. And the shoes, I can even tell what those are. Are they sporty? I don't know. We need some sneakers, though. How about blue? And swimwear, hopefully it's just some shorts. And flippers, we'll get rid of the flippers. Bare feet. And let's see what's outerwear. Oh, boy. You and those purple gloves. Um, let's get rid of those. And good enough. All right, Ken. What kind of personality are you gonna have? Adventurous, daredevil, and a snob. Those are all good, except he doesn't look like a snob to me. So he can be adventurous, a daredevil, and. And, 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 hmm, easily impressed, he likes, man, everybody likes hamburgers, hamburgers, pop music, and aqua, let's change the aqua to blue, and he's a Scorpio, all right, I think we're good, let's go back to Aurora, so we have our mother, Aurora, our father, Russ, we have our eldest teen, Carrie, our middle child, who is also a teen, Candace, and our little boy, Ken. And I think I have a good idea of what I'm going to build for them. So let's go ahead and confirm everything. What I will do is end this uh, episode right here, and episode two will be building their home. So probably episode two might be like, building the exterior and the landscaping and then episode three might be decorating the interior just depending on how long these end up being but this is the end of part one thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you want to make sure to not miss episode two of building a home for the lamb family so hit that subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day bye